Can I do this real quick? Ah, okay. So, my endlessly reliable B&W might have a slight issue. Um, getting out of work yesterday, I put it in the manual setting and went to haul ass in first gear. And then, and it's kind of hard to read because the pixels on my screen are dead, but it's like fault, it looked like it said transmission code R, or tr transmission failure R. And I'm sitting here going, fuck, this is gonna be expensive. And it would go into park just fine and go into neutral just fine. But when you'd put it in reverse, it would like slam itself into gear. And when I put it back into the manual setting, it wouldn't come out of fifth gear. And that made driving it almost impossible because it was stuck in fifth gear. So I said, all right, shit, I'm gonna see if turning it off and letting it sit for a second and then turning it back on fixes it. So put it in park and uh, cut it off, waited about 10 seconds, drove it probably 100 miles yesterday, no problem. So I said, shit, but I had done something that I had never done before. So I was saying, okay, that's what it was, I won't do that again, that was stupid. So I'm on break today, and um, first gear, and I go to floor it, trying to be a dumbass, and because like the road I the road I work on is not busy, so I'm trying to be a dumbass and just have a little bit of fun, and I floor it. Transmission failure R, and I'm like, what the fuck? Put it in park, turned it off for a few seconds turn it back on and it drives just fine in the regular drive mode it drives just fine in sport mode and yesterday I was like I said I drove it probably about a hundred miles and started off until I was like close to the house I had it in automatic but then I went to the manual modes shifting through all the gears no problem I have no idea what's going on with it but uh, we'll see Oh man, I'm also very tired. Ooh. I got like bitched at today. This week has been shitty. This has been a shitty week. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what Oh, I think that's the Dodge Challenger D GT. I've never seen one like that before. It didn't have any badges on it or anything. But it has a spoiler on it, like the RTs. But it doesn't have, like, an, it, I don't know, it was weird looking. Fucking weird looking. I actually, I actually made this video earlier, and I turned my camera, and then it was stuck like that. And I hate that about that camera, but... We shall see. We are probably. God damn it, I'm sorry. Whoa! Fucking tired. Okay, so, anyways, um, we might be getting a trailer, like a mobile home, for 50 bucks. And um, I walked through it yesterday. The roof at one point in time leaked, but it doesn't anymore. But like all the floors are nice and solid. And I'm seeing you going, well fuck for fit don't pull out in front of me. Don't pull out in front of me. Like, you no, know, no, no, don't do it, don't do it. You're on a bike. No! You fucking guy on a fucking Harley. Um Anyways, it's like 50 bucks. So I think my lady wants to start buying and look at the ship. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That's why I like this commute. I'm on this road. I am exceedingly close to the water. It's it's really nice. It was nice before all these fucking cops and traffic had to, you know, 
had to fucking flood this fucking street. I don't know when this fucking street got so fucking busy. I went a, I went about a year and a half, two years without driving on it. And before, like, before I stopped driving on it, it was just a whole bunch of, like, semi-trucks for the gas and all that. Um, there's, like, a few refineries out here and shit like that. And that's all there was. Oh, that, the zoo. <laughs> now, like, a cop just drove by. Now there's all sorts of cops and people just use this as like a in-between. But there's also a lot of um, construction going on. What are you doing? On the interstate, so people might be using this to get in between. Is that a Oh, I thought that I thought that was a guy on a uh, scooter or something. I was like, what the fuck is that guy on a scooter doing in the road? That's safe. Just got on a bike. That was weird. That was the same Challenger that... That was weird. Do, do, do. <laughs> well... I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I just wanted to give a quick update on the BMW. It, it drives just fine. Like right now I'm doing a little under 50. I'm probably doing like 49 miles an hour. I'm getting good gas mileage. The car isn't rough. Or, what are you doing? God damn. Pete. What the fuck are you doing? God, man, some of these semi-truck drivers scare the shit out of me. I had this one, um, I think it was last Friday, and he decided that he wanted, like, god damn it, wanted to sit there and speed through, like, the red lights and shit, and he almost took me out, he almost took a few other people out, I'm sitting there going, dude, if you're in a big-ass truck like that, I, I think it should you should kind of use a little bit more safety but what the fuck do I know I'm not a semi truck driver it might be the easiest thing in the world I don't fucking know but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here I just wanted to give a quick update on the world's most reliable BMW <laughs> um, don't forget to like comment subscribe if you have any questions if it if it goes back into the fault code I will try and get a video of it maybe you guys can tell me what the fuck it says because I have no fucking idea it looks like it says transmission fault R but I looked it up on uh, Google the forums and YouTubes and nothing nothing at all but don't forget to comment like subscribe subscribe <laughs> Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and, and follow my Instagram. Take it easy.